Welcome ladies and gentlemen and I want to appreciate you so much for your great support for watching this video like liking and also commenting where necessary plus your subscription I want to urge you may you continue with the same spirit you watch you like you comment and also you share and if this may be your first time you are watching me I also request you just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe in that next time when I upload to you such kind of a video the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform and to the members I'm very much grateful for your great support through watching the channel you share you likes and also you comment you've made this channel to grow big may you continue for such kind of a support i believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are i'm personally good I'm, and, and i'm still carrying on with the day let's go back to poly political issues what is the aim of jeremiah Kion to attack dr william samoy ruto we know knows that this man Kioni is a close associate of both Raila and Uhuru. What is his aim? Today he has thrown a bombshell to the head of state with a determination on speaking on an issue of mass requisition for interdenomination. There is something that Jeremiah Kioni is looking after. And this analysis, I want us to analyze what might be Kioni target. Karibu watu wa kabila yake. Kwa sababu ni wachache ambao anawatumia kuletea maafa kama yale ambao yambetokea hapa. Tulikuwa tunafukuzu wa kule kama panya. Lakini tofauti na vile walikuwa nafanya hapa na kule walipokuwa wanatufukuza kule na tear gas na risasi walikuwa wanapiga risasi kwa hewa wakija pande hii wanapiga risasi kwa watu maana yake ni nini maana yake ni ile tunasema kwa kizugu profiling na ni jambo hatari sana ambalo limeanzishwa Kenya hii profiling people according to their tribes wanataka kusema ya kwamba mambo ya jaa mambo ya maandamano ni ya baba na wajaruo na wakenya sio wajinga wakenya si wajinga jaa iliyoko hapa ndio ile iko kule kwingine kwa babo tumetoka na ili aweze kufanya hii profiling tunapofanya mambo ya kuombeleza hapa na kuzika walio kufa anaenda sehemu nyingine kupeleka mchere na nyama ubafu ya mtu ubafu ubafu ndio kibaki alikuwa anasema haja yao ni i know very well that any politician has something that he or she must reach after in other words there must be a secret behind and i always combine this political issues to reach you very well as we hope that whatever we predict is going to happen when you look at mount king there we have so many politicians right now the most popular guy and the truth to be told is the current deputy president regarding gashar But now, there is also another man here, Jeremiah Kion, who is calling himself as the U uh, Jubilee Secretary General Chairman. In Central Kenya, we have David Murabi. We have Kioni. We have Ndini Nyoro. We have uh, Gashagwa, who is now trying to be their kingpin we have ex president Uhuru Kenyatta we have lastly Martha Karua 
and the former governor Wairia. I don't want to mention them. But let's go to the drawing board. As I said that what is the target of Jeremiah Keon? In that video you are seeing him facing the president directly. And that one can tell you, it is not only the president is facing, but also the deputy president with what aim? One, Kioni is trying to influence the people of Central Kenya for the kingpin. I was doing that this analysis and I came to realize that Kioni is having a target on Ouru Mwegai Kenyatta. That in any case, Ouru will endorse someone from Central Kenya, then Ouru might prefer him as the kingpin. So that is why you are seeing him today making attack on the president of Republic of Kenya. Number two, the real reality of Jeremiah Kioni have been exposed with a determination. So it means that Kioni is trying to influence the Kenya as the Kenyan people as a whole. And therefore, his aim, in any case, Ouru will endorse him as the kingpin of central Kenya. Then he will get the right track. So that is why you are seeing him today as made attack on the president. Number three, Jeremiah Kioni is also trying to be popular with the aim of that one day he will also stand and vie for the presidency. So that is why you are seeing him today speaking courageously in Nyanza with the attack of the state house shareholders. And we always say, or I always say that politics are being done with him. So these three critical analyses are the aim of Jeremiah Kioni. Then my last question is this. Is William Samoy Ruto will plot to arrest Jeremiah Kioni after the assault he has made today? Well, Kenya is a democratic and everyone has a freedom of speech. But Jeremiah Kioni has thrown a bombshell to the president. Let's wait what next after Ruto will respond to him. As I wish you all the best, remember to comment, watch and also subscribe if possible. Thank you as we hope to meet on another video.